This grandmother is so famous, there's a documentary called The Life and Crimes of Doris Payne, which chronicles her adventures as one of the most prolific jewel thieves in history. There's never been a day that I went to steal that I did not get what I went to do. Her name is Doris Payne, a.k.a. the Granny Jewel Thief, and the dame's got a rap sheet dating back to the 1950s. When the feds raided her home in 1998, they found fake passports and 10 grand in cash. The international jewel thief targeted stores spanning the globe from London to Paris and even Japan. She sees something she wants, she will go and get it. And me, you, Jesus wouldn't stop her from doing it. Cops had a hard time recovering a 10 and a half carat diamond she admits stealing from a Cartier in the glitzy French Riviera. That's because, she says, she sewed it into her girdle. But it was at this Saks Fifth Avenue in the posh Buckhead district of Atlanta where the 85-year-old gem grabber may have pulled her final job. Our Atlanta affiliate WGCL following the story and reporting that investigators say surveillance video shows her sticky fingers ripping off a pair of $700 Christian Dior earrings. Police say she pocketed the baubles and bolted. Well, there is a court order and I verify that through your probation officer. She has made a lifelong career out of stealing and taking advantage of people. They cuff the greedy granny and haul her off to the slammer. It's a place she knows all too well. Payne's done several stints in federal prison. But after spending a night in the joint, the notorious con artist once again slips through the cracks, bailing out of jail. Ask any officer, have I ever been arrested and lied? Her attorney denies the most recent allegations against his client and says she'll plead not guilty. Now listen to Payne's explanation. It might have been a slip up, but she says she thinks she did something wrong, but she wouldn't say what. Walking through the mall, I did something wrong. So how does Doris nab the goods? She says she strolls into a ritzy store dressed to the nines, convincing clerks she has money to burn. And after showing her the glittering bling, Doris distracts them and then slips out with one of the rings still on her hand. So with her notorious history, how is it legally possible that Doris Payne can walk the streets? Attorneys say her type of crime gets only a slap on the wrist. What is missing from any of her crimes, from what I could tell, was uh, any suggestion that she either carried a firearm, uh, held anybody up. In a way, Doris is like a twisted Robin Hood, posing as the rich to steal from them. I don't have any regrets about stealing jewelry.